In this video, we are going to be learning about CSI Linux. CSI Linux is a Linux distribution that is designed for digital forensics and crime investigation. There are pre-built tools that already comes with CSI Linux. Tools for incident response where you can monitor and analyze your network traffic. Tools for computer forensics where you can recover the deleted data from a disk or a drive. We also have tools for mobile forensics, vehicle forensics, and hardware forensics. Other than this, CSI Linux is a very good alternative for hackers or people who want to connect to the dark web. You can easily hide your IP and location with the tools that are already in CSI Linux. There are also pre-built hacking tools too. But the best feature of CSI Linux is the OSINT and the online investigation tools that comes pre-installed. You can do domain OSINT. You can find the information about anyone with email or phone number. You can also find the geolocation and social engineering toolkits. There is also a FBI wanted list that you can download. So this is a really fun Linux distribution to play around with. So first, let's see how we can install this Linux and see some more features in details. Let's get started. So first, open a browser of your choice and go to the site csilinux.com. In this website, you can get more information on CSI Linux. There is also an academy section where you can get training and certification on CSI Linux. But since we're going to be downloading today, I will click on download CSI Linux and you will be on the download page. In the download page, you will have option to install CSI Linux in various different ways. But I'll be installing CSI Linux today for VirtualBox only. So I'll click on direct download and my download will start. This is a 10 GB file. So wait for the download to get finished. After your file is downloaded, it will be on the downloads folder. Now you need to extract this file. So right click and click on extract all and then click on extract and wait for the extraction to get completed. It will be a 27.4 GB file. After the folder is extracted, go inside the folder and you will see the virtual box file. This comes already pre-configured, so you do not have to build it from scratch. Just click on the file two times. And as you can see, it is already added in the Oracle VM virtual box manager. Just click on start. And your virtual machine will be started. The password and the username is CSI. And after you're logged in, this is the interface that you will get. This Linux is based on Debian distro. So the Linux commands are the same as Ubuntu and Kali Linux. At the bottom of the screen, you will see the tools that you will frequently use like Wireshark, Autopsy, Ghidra, Onion Shared to host hidden service on the dark web, Google Chrome. On the upper left corner, if you click on CSI Linux, you can also access the tools in different category. On the upper right corner of the screen, you can monitor your system like your CPU percentage used, your memory percentage used, how much disk is available. You can also check the processes that are running. Now let's see how to hide our IP and become completely anonymous while we're using this system. So click on the CSI Linux button, click on dark web and then click on CSI Tor VPN. Type your password which is CSI and click on OK. Choose your adapter and click on OK. CSI Tor VPN on and then click on OK. And I'm connected to the Tor network right now, which means that I can access the dark web. My IP is also hidden. And also, as you can see, my wallpaper has changed. Now in the desktop, we have a folder called cases and we have a file called start a case. Let's click on start a case. And under case management, I will click on start a case. I will select start new case and add the details to your case. And click on OK. And now as you can see, I have so many different options to do a case investigation. I will do a simple OSINT. I will do domains and websites. I will gather some domain information and I will gather the information of a domain that I own and click on OK. Now the harvester is working. I will wait for it to get finished. And after the domain reconnaissance has been completed, you will get the output in cases. So Hackhunt was the name of my case and I will click on export. This is the domain that I enumerated. So I'll go inside it and I can see the findings. So this is the IP that is associated with the domain. Then we have the name of the subdomain that has been found. And I have found some other information as well. This is just a simple demonstration on how to start a case. So this is how you install and use CSI Linux. That is for the end of the video. If you like this video and want to watch more content related to Kali Linux or ethical hacking, please subscribe to the channel. Thank you so much for watching.